three-point line and 72% from the three-throw line. Backdoor cut, Behan! Timeout, Red with no change in their personnel. Off the bounce is Warren. This was definitely a time where you give the Matt the ball, but here's this is the new look Cornell. Back to a double-digit big lead lead. Helmerjan into the game. Saar inside, and McCarthy does it on the defensive end. Inbound, Beheim back in the ball game for Cornell. Noel puts up a little runner. Comes there. He's done a very good job defensively. Cornell's really helped out as well. The steal by Jones, and he'll <laughs> go up off the glass. Warren with the shot fake, backdoor, bounce pass, and a two-hand flush. Wisconsin, Red again handle the pressure. Noel with a beautiful pass, and Beheim with his second dunk of the season. That's something Jimmy Beheim will see more if he continues to average those 22 points. There's a lot of eyes on him defensively. Two for two from the right, now the left elbow for Josh Warren. He's got for the Highlanders, they're so important for the team out there on the court. Jones, three ball. Jordan Jones off the bench with his first basket. Score tonight. Shot clock down to five. McBride up top, stops, pops, and drops. Stop and go, the penetration. McBride lost it in the lane, got it back. Off to Warren for the two-hand dunk from the left baseline. Three bucket for the Leopards. Beheim to Warren. Last year had 17 in the win in Easton, and there is the freshman, Jordan Jones, New York, with his second field goal and our second tie of the contest. Backdoor cut with Jordan Jones off the glass, counted in a foul. And so they, they played pretty good defense for about 34 seconds. Not sure if they knew exactly how much time was on the shot clock, but Jimmy Beheim started to get heat up. Perry trapped through it, deflected away. Beheim bolting down into the front court. Oh, off the glass, counted in a foul. One of the big keys for Cornell has been their offensive rebounding. I believe that was their 10th offensive rebound. So they've gotten a lot of extra possessions, extra shots. He changes. 430 in regulation. Warren with the bounce pass. Beheim inside will muscle it up with the left hand. Now he's going to stay most of the bench, most of the first half. He'll likely be on the bench. Catch left side, another layup off glass for Josh Warren. Beheim spinning, whirling. Oh, pretty off the window. He owned Nueke for two in the second half. Six quick points for Forrest, and suddenly a two point game. Beheim makes it a five point game. Cornell as we approach six minutes in the second half. Six point lead. Dolan! Will it count? Yes! Yeah. Not necessarily trying to take the block. They'll definitely take it when they get it, but just trying to make it hard. Oh, Dolan with a gorgeous pass inside. Warren will finish. Red have played terrific defense in our opening two minutes. Neither club has scored. Voss looks to end that as he banks home. Hey, this is a Princeton club that hits 46% of their shots coming in. Ariri Guzzo, one of the best field goal shooters in the league. Double team at the baseline. Pick 2-3 zone. Morales gets it back. Shot clock under five. Lefty dribble. Batted away by Dolan. Picked up by Behan. As they got back defensively, the Tigers and Cornell will reset Voss. Deep right arc. Knocks home. Back tap. The 20th rebound of the game for the Red. Beheim leading them with 12. Passes off to Warren. Beats everybody for the left baseline throw now. Beheim in the baseline. Deep in the corner. McBride trying to post up on Morales. The turnaround counted. And a foul. Uh, he's, he's almost been able to... Uh, to will his team right back into this one. Red using clock, Bayheim out of the double team, back to the basket, flips it up and in, points 17 and 18. Approaching a minute, Llewellyn, Schweiger, Stolen, Dolan, streaking down into the front guard. What a behind the back pass to Bayheim, who punctuates it with a two hand throw down. Dolan with a gorgeous behind the back assist. An answer points for the home club. Extra pass to the baseline. Knapp off the rim. Offensive rebound put up and in by McBride. McBride 
Beheim, he'll square up the lefty, pops and drops. And again, a two point lead, jumper, tie ball game. Arsenal shot of the half potentially here. McBride gonna post up on Goodman. Banks off glass, Terrence McBride. Lead change number eight of the afternoon. Up and under, Warren ties the ball game with the lefty hook. Goodman's season high is 21 against LaSalle. He's up to 16 right now. McBride for Cornell, answers back. Approach the five minute mark in the second 20 minutes. McBride, no foul call, follows his own. Cornell doesn't seem to be able to continue to, to talk and, uh, and defend all these players. App looking, gets it inside to Dixon. Atkinson playing staunch defense, and Dixon gets the roll. A pretty good screen from Dixon there, but uh, Yale working around it. Dixon with a nice move, and he got it to go. Monroe guarding McBride. McBride, strong drive. Off the glass, the basket is good. So here we go, the big red. We'll start with Voss, McBride, and inside to Warren, who converts with a left wing. Naprick picks up his rebound, and how do you like that? Greg Dolan. Now Warren with it at the top. Knapp with a little bit too much. Look at that. McBride to the basket and the bucket is good. Great pass for Atkinson. Left side, Gabadon. Pass was overthrown. Gabadon in the lane and he slips and that's gonna be a travel. McBride looking for a screen. Gonna shoot the jumper. Good for Terrence McBride. McBride, seven to shoot. McBride, left wing, gonna shoot the jumper. Off the glass, got it to go. McBride gets it back. That's a three-pointer, good, how do you like that? Dolan knocks it down. Corner to Knapp. Cornell trailing by two, that's a three-pointer. McBride hits from the top. Dolan picks up his dribble, finds McBride, left wing. Terrence driving to the basket, off the glass, bucket is good. He got it. By Mahoney. Kobe Dixon with it at the top, 15, backdoor pass. McBride hits, how do you like that? From Dixon at the top. Riley Voss, nice pass inside to Kobe Dixon, who had a pretty decent night working on Ganey, and Ganey uh, unable to get over. The red will try and turn up the pressure with a full court press. Cornell forces a lot of turnovers, and how about that inside defense? And Knapp can't get that to go, but another rebound this time to Fillion. Dolan cutting to the basket, the bucket is good. And Cornell gonna set something up here. They have a 12 point advantage. He no cutting to the basket. Nice pass from Kobe Dixon. They point shooter at a little over 30%. Uh, but looked pretty comfortable on a deep bomb there. Brian Knapp, boy, nothing but net. Voss and Warren, the two front court players for Cornell, both with two personal fouls. Brian Knapp stands at second behind Columbia's Smith. That's a long three, and how do you like that? McBride being guarded by Hunsaker. Pass inside. Dolan. Dolan spinning. Gets it to go off the glass. Uh, McBride with the basketball. McBride left wing, strong drive, bucket is good. Terrence McBride now with 17 points. All ties a career high. Riley Voss inside to Josh Warren. Warren shoots a very high percentage, as does Kobe Dixon from the top, is good for Brian Knapp. Josh Warren, and Warren puts it down with two hands, driving on the baseline. Now it's a stare inside to Rye. Rye with the move, and Josh Warren with a block and the save. From Fillion, McBride comes out of there with it. McBride up the floor. Dean Knoll, three-pointer, got it! Dean Knoll makes it big. big run. Ahead to Dolan. Dolan, McBride, McBride. Shot from the top, that's good. Still in a hunt for an Ivy Championship at seven and three. Yeah, there's a reason why I think 14 of the 16. Um, him on that one, it was returned to sender. Brian Knapp. And it's a one. McBride gets a screen, free throw line, finding Dolan. Dolan kicks it right corner, Knapp for three. Got it, Brian Knapp. Dean Knoll, Knoll right wing. Double teamed, back to the top. Boss long three, and he got that one.